Wake up and check yourself all the time, part 2 of 3, on Between Master and Disciples, given in English and Chinese on December 17, 2017, in Koishu, Taiwan, also known as Formosa. Sorry, I've been coughing since a few days. <clears throat> it's like that. Every time near Christmas, I have a problem. I had a problem before. Mostly at Christmas, I get sick or exhausted, you know, and not well. Overall, not well. I was at Saint Anne's Day. I was Sometimes very good environment here. We are on top of a hill separately. Of course we are connected with outsiders in the front gate. That's it. The rest here is this stiff, uh, like a ravine, yeah? yeah. So we are safe, <laughs> feel safe. Mm. And a lot of greenery, yes, so we are very healthy here. Mm. So a lot of bamboos and trees, bananas. And your brothers and sisters in Kaohsiung are very tidy and clean. I like it here very much. And they built for me a little wood house, <laughs> also very according to my taste. Yeah, every little detail they take care of very well. I'm very pleased here. Even though it's a small place, not as uh, private like in Sihu. Sihu land is very big, but I always have to go around cleaning, cleaning, tidy up, because I love tidiness and cleanliness. Even storeroom, you need to make it tidy, you know. I stay there because everybody was there, you see, convenient. And I have places there for my dogs. Over here it's a little bit difficult with the dog stuff because the dogs are territorial, you know, and they're such babies, they, they fight for toys, or for snacks, stuff like that. And I can't just separate them too much here because we don't have enough room to separate them. Understand? Yeah. Even if I do, I have to have some of the helpers which don't agree with my system. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's very, very uh, tiring. Yeah. So now we just stay here and see how it goes. Okay, huh? Yeah. I wish that Ping Dong doesn't have such a smell. The bad karma. Mm, bad karma. Mm. I prepared already to come see you this morning. I put alarm clock on already. I was supposed to go at 8 o'clock. And the f uh, last warning, say, I should not go. If I go there, I will lose about 50% of my spiritual power again. I can't gain it back so quick. I can't just lose 50% just for Ping Tong. Understand? I need it. I need it for the world, for my work, okay? Yeah. Because now SMTV is broadcasted all over, and it's a lot of karma. I need to take care. I need my power. I keep losing again and again, but. It's just in a few hours, I lose 50%, that's too much, you know what I mean? It's difficult for me to regain back this time. I just lost 62% and then it's difficult for me to gain back already. I had to go without food, without sleep, because I have to take care of you, you know, your emotional needs, and I have to do all the document jobs, SMTV and everything, and take care of dogs. So it was very, very uh, hard work to regain that. Uh, luckily I did, and I was so happy. All the gods are helping, you know. And if I lose 50% again this time, you know, I think I, I cannot regain it so fast. Yeah. Therefore, I prefer just not to go. <laughs> if heaven say not to go, I don't go. No, before I used to do against what they advised because I thought, oh, never mind, you know, I can do that. But after many years learning hard lessons, I think I just better keep, <laughs> you know, 
walk the line <laughs> so that I can continue to be strong and helping the world who need it more than just Ping Tong area. Huh? Mm. So you understand, right? Yeah. Normally I wanted to go, not that I'm being too selfish or anything. Yeah. I would prefer there because you have a lot of places for you. Mm? Many houses, yeah? Small, small, but many. And convenient, huh? a lot of bathrooms, yeah? Because before it built a lot. A lot of people live there, and I live there. And now I just, uh, I worry about, not just that beginning, I already worry whether or not it smells too bad, because that kind of air is bad for your lungs, you know? Yeah, it can burn inside, huh? burn your lungs. After a while, you know, if you don't have good care or aircon or something like that, but over there we can't just have aircon <laughs> all the time. Yeah, you go out and you sit outside. Yeah, you eat outside. Therefore, I was worried whether I should let you be there, but I thought this place is too small. Other places in the whole Taiwan are even smaller. <laughs> They just take care of their own, you know, meditation center. They don't care to make it big. This is the third biggest already, yeah, except Meli and then Ping Tong and this one. If I buy it for people, I always buy big, even at that time we didn't need it that big. But I know you will, you know, give birth to children <laughs> in every center, so I never worry if the place is too big. I only worry when it's too small. Big, you don't have to use it all, yeah? You can just screen one area and then just use some area only. But when it's small, you can't do anything. Hmm? Okay, we're uh, checking around the area to see if we can buy some more land, yeah. But it's getting more expensive now. Before it was cheaper in this land, it was cheaper. Now it's more expensive. I think because the uh, economy goes up again or because a lot of disciples come in to the center all the time, so they know, must have money, you know. <laughs> yeah, most organizations, they have money, yeah? Or the members always contribute, yeah? Or any temple or church, they have money, yeah? Because they take donations, it's just they don't understand our situation is different, it's the opposite. <laughs> I'm earning money <laughs> as fast as I could <laughs> to, to give away, you know, to repair the meditation hall or buy new land or do something like that, or give it to the disaster people, yeah, yeah. or poor people, or do things for spiritual help to the world, etc., yeah, everything. Everything in this world takes money, you know. Money is all they know, <laughs> nothing else. <laughs> and this is funny because I don't take money, but all the newspapers in Taiwan before, headline and television say, I came home just to take money, <laughs> a lot of money. <laughs> and that was a very big karma they made, therefore I could not returned to Taiwan for a long, long time, many, many years, until the karma erased a little bit, and now I can be here, yeah. But even I wasn't in Taiwan, but I was working in Europe also, you know, mm. and Taiwanese people, or you people, can also come see me, no? Yeah, I wasn't not working, yeah, <laughs> one way or another. Whenever I can, I see you. Hmm? Hmm. It's just my work is a little bit difficult, hmm. more difficult than most of other uh, teachers or masters. They don't, <laughs> they don't tell people, don't take drugs on TV, you know. <laughs> they don't openly advertise for vegan diet and uh, drug-free style, you know, and no killing, no war, no weapons. You see what I mean? No cigarette. These are very powerful corporates, and they make trouble for me everywhere I go, through the government or through something else, you know. And uh, many times my life was at stake, you know. That's why I have to keep running. 
Sometimes the drug people, they are not very lenient with, with someone who goes against them. And so I'm risking my life all the time. Ah, never mind, I live for that. <laughs> I live for my ideal. Hmm? I would prefer to tell people that they should live a more cleaner life, a more healthy, yeah, and to keep the, the only home they have, that is we call the planet, because if we don't have the planet, <laughs> we are gone, right? The children, we have nowhere to go, huh? Or maybe we are gone together, you know, not to talk about children, yeah. Uh, for that, yeah, for that, I live for that. So I don't mind. <laughs> it's just that you guys suffer <laughs> because you cannot always see me due to that kind of circumstance. Yeah, understand? So many years I cannot stay in one place to let you come and see me so easily. Yeah, sometimes you come and I just left. Yeah? Sometimes I just left and you come. <laughs> Either that. <laughs> or. Oh, even I was there, but I can't do anything because there are a lot of obstruction. We cannot underestimate the power of this world, yeah, of the people who are powerful. Yeah, they use their free will and power to do something that's not appropriate. Yeah, even though they claim to be religious people, huh? but they do things against their own principle. Every religion forbids, you know, to take drugs and to drink, yeah, and to eat meat even. Every religion mentions that. And all the so-called religious followers, they, they don't follow the teaching of the Master. And now if I remind them again the same thing, they think I'm bad, <laughs> you know. Yeah, so everybody just focuses on me and makes trouble for me in my life. Yeah, it also affects my health, you know, and mental wellness. Affect everything, not just spiritual job. Huh? Yeah, affect me in many ways. So also sometimes very depressing, frustrating. Not only that, I don't have enough support. I mean, of course you all support me. That's different. Understand? But sometimes as a human, you need some strong support like a family or something, or like a husband, a wife, you know. That's why most of the master they marry before, <laughs> so nobody can say anything. <laughs> After being a master, if you marry, then they say a lot of things. But if you marry before becoming master, nobody says anything. All the Indian masters, you know, gurus, they married. You know, the ones who teach the same method in India, famous ones, they all married, have children. No problem. Hmm? But who, if I go marry now and have children, I think you all will run away from me. <laughs> Understand that? Yeah. So I'm very, I feel very alone sometimes. Just feel like always, always have to work and work and work, you know, and give and give and give. There's no, no one who truly understands. I don't mean I need the money or anything. Understand? I just need maybe one or two persons to truly understand. Sometimes when I go through a really hard time, sometimes I'm really in big, big, big trouble, yeah? There's no one there that I could even talk to, or no one even understands one bit. Not only that, criticize if I don't come out <laughs> to work. Understand? Like I'm lazy or... Don't come out and let you see me, something like that even. Yeah, mostly it's like that. Nobody truly understands or you know, supports me at all. I feel like that, you know, sometimes. Okay, not support is okay, but criticize even, you know, your own people. That sometimes hurts the emotional part or the mental uh, wellness, and that affects your body also, makes you sick, yeah? And when you are sick, you are even more lonely, <laughs> more depressed, because you are not strong enough to withstand all the pressure, yeah? When your body is also weak, your mental is also disturbed because of too much stress, and uh, your emotion is low, 
Understand? All this is necessary for human life to function. Uh, master or not. You see? Because you have a body, yeah? Just like you are spiritual practitioners. Some of you are on high level, right? But sometimes if you have trouble with your wife or your kids or your husband, you really feel very down, right? Very low. And you wish they would understand you more or support you more, you know, mentally or emotionally. And then you can always move mountains or empty rivers, yeah? Just sometimes you just can't explain all that to anybody. And then at that time, even when you meditate, you don't feel well, right? Yeah, when you have family problem, a work problem, business problem, you can't even concentrate to meditate, right? And then you suddenly feel sick, feel unwell. And this is the same with me, okay? Because I have the body and the mind and the mental and the emotional setup, just like every one of you. If I don't have this, how I understand you? How I take care of you? You see what I mean? Yeah. I must have all that. I cannot discard them. Then I don't understand why you are suffering, why you are crying, when your husband left you, when your wife doesn't love you. I, I have to understand all that. I must have emotion, uh, mental clarity, all the setup, the same like you. It's just that I don't have any support for that. <laughs> understand me? Yeah, whatever I have, I just have to use it for other people. Yeah. And sometimes your strength can be exhausted. I mean, emotional strength or uh, not just physical, emotional and mental. Yeah, yeah, could be exhausted. Especially if you are not understood. Not only you are not understood, but you are even looked upon as an object for being used any time, you know, dead or alive. Nobody understands you and just want to really take more from you when you already give enough or give all you can. And you don't even understand when you need a rest and you need a, a little break in order to recover, yeah? That is when it really, really hurts and uh, very, very, <laughs> uh, how to say, battery low. <laughs> okay then. Uh, so if you have some problem, uh, you understand that I'm also with you, okay? I'm not above any of this, yeah? So I understand you very well. That's why when you pray, it works, yeah? The Master Power can help you. Uh, through this physical mind and mental capability and emotional uh, setup, yeah? And the physical endurance as well. Mm. That's why most masters, they suffer not because of uh, the work they do, it's just because of the stress from the world, from the people who don't understand, and from their own disciples as well. It's Christmas time, and you remember when Jesus, normally he walks everywhere before, he doesn't have a car. Huh? Sorry about that at that time. So of course he has pain, you know, maybe his, his uh, feet are swollen or hurt. And one of the disciples just massages his feet and puts some of the, you know, ointment to relieve some pain. And some disciples sat there and say, Master, so many poor people, how can you enjoy such a luxury as uh, massaging oil, you know? Imagine that, their own disciples. Hmm? Even if Jesus doesn't have that massage oil, how much can he feed the world with that? Understand me? Yeah, this is typic typical of disciples. <laughs> they have nothing better to do <laughs> but to criticize the Master, because they don't see themselves full of garbage inside. They just look at the Master. Anything the Master does is not according to their liking or their imagination. They think the Master is bad. <laughs> See what I mean? Yeah. So the best is that, not just criticize, not just not criticizing the Master of any kind, but not criticizing anybody, because <laughs> we don't have enough time to even check out our own trouble. Right? Hmm? We have so much trouble, we should check ourselves. Instead of checking somebody else. <laughs> Everybody has it anyway, huh? Including us, so we should check ourselves. I check myself all the time, okay? 
Yeah, I check myself all the time in order to continue to work. Huh? I'm sure I don't have to check anymore. But sometimes if some trouble comes, I check whether or not I have done anything to contribute to that. But the answer is always no. <laughs> but nevertheless, I, I always check it. Yeah. 